All right, what's up guys? Derek here from Simnet Nutrition. So today I wanted to make a quick video on why I don't post more videos and what the heck do I do with the rest of my time and how did I get here? So one of the reasons why I don't post more videos, probably the main reason, is because I'm busy. If you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know that I'm a nutritionist. That's my job, that's my career. I help people over Skype all over the world get healthier and reach their goals through nutrition, through fitness, and through lifestyle changes. So I'm busy with that. My, my clients always come first, and that's probably the main reason why I don't post more. Uh, another reason why I don't post more is because, especially at this time of year, is because I'm, <laughs> I'm in Canada and it's cold in the winter, so it's hard to do videos outside. Um, that's why you guys will probably see that I've been doing more sort of recipe videos. I've been filming some videos at the gym as well because it's just so cold and it's hard to work out outside. And it doesn't quite look as cool when I'm like all bundled up in like a sweater and a toque and everything uh, versus like, you know, topless or with a tank top on. So uh, that's definitely another reason. And the third reason is probably because I think like a lot of us, I end up telling myself that the videos that I make or the ideas that I have aren't gonna be good enough or aren't gonna make a good video or people aren't gonna care or be interested in it. So sometimes I'll even film something and then I'll just delete it thinking, you know what, I don't think anyone's gonna care about this. Like, what's the point in posting it? Uh, and I know I shouldn't and that's something I'm gonna work on, you know, from here on out is just putting it out there, putting myself out there and not caring if it's, you know, absolutely perfect. Um, but as you guys know, I do like to kind of make creative videos and make fun videos where there's a, you know, a few special effects and that sort of thing in it. So those are a couple of the reasons why I don't post more often. Um, but I think a lot of people want to know, ooh, sorry, it's a little bit difficult to get down here. A lot of people ask, like, how did I get here? How did I become a nutritionist? What were the steps that I took to get here? Uh, so I'm going to talk to you guys about that now. Let me just find somewhere to put the camera down. Ooh. So how did I get here and how did I become a nutritionist? Well, I've obviously been to school for it. I went to IHN, which is the Institute of Holistic Nutrition. It's in Vancouver, British Columbia, uh, where I lived up until very recently. And then once I graduated that, uh, it's always been my dream to work for myself. And I'm going to tell you guys a cool story about how I got here and how I started working for myself. So I've had a lot of careers in my lifetime. I've been everything from a skateboarding instructor to an electrician. I was professionally schooled in public relations when I got out of high school. So I've done PR, I've done marketing, I've done all of it. And somewhere along the way, I decided that I wanted to work for myself. When I was an electrician, I really liked doing the work, but it was really hard. It was really physical labor. I was kind of being pressured to go to school, which you should if you're an electrician, but I kind of wasn't, don't tell anybody. Um, I was kind of being pressured to go to school and take it further and take on more jobs. And my boss saw that I was kind of reluctant and he said to me, you know, are you serious about this or are you not? Because there's people that want this position. And I told him, you know what, this isn't what I want to do for the rest of my life and I'm sorry. So he let me go. Uh, so I didn't have to quit, but I got put on unemployment insurance, which was really nice because I got a bit of a year where I got paid quite a bit of money to do no work and kind of try and find myself and figure out what I wanted to do. Uh, during that time, here in Canada, you have to kind of prove that you're doing something to better yourself, whether you're looking for work or taking classes to, you know, to make yourself more employable, basically. Hello. Hi. So during that time, I was at a job workshop where they wanted us to sort of write down five things that we wanted in our future job. And they were really, really encouraged you to just think outside the box and be really, you know, creative with it and, and to really go for your dreams. I thought it was a little silly at the time because I'd never really liked those things. It's like, yeah, sure, I'd love to be like a puppy babysitter for life, or I'd love to be an astronaut, or I'd love to just sit here on the beach all day and, and make YouTube videos. Uh, so they made us write down five things that we wanted and the first one that I knew I wanted was to be my own boss. The second one was to be non-location dependent. So that means I can, you know, work from anywhere. The third one is that I wanted to help others. I wanted to be a teacher. I've always loved teaching and helping others all my life. So that was another one that I put down there. The fourth one was that I wanted to work with food. 
And I wasn't sure how that was going to happen because I'd never been, I'd never really, other than being a server, I'd never worked in a restaurant. I'd never been a chef or anything like that. And I didn't want to be a server for the rest of my life. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And then the fifth one was that I wanted to be creative with my work. I definitely wanted there to be a creative element. So we wrote down those five things and I didn't know how that was going to materialize. I didn't know if any of them were going to come true. But the instructor of the class said, you know, they don't all have to come true in the next job that you find. It doesn't have to tick off all those boxes, but just work every day towards those goals. Just a little bit every day, every month, just try and move towards those goals that are your dreams. And they might change over time, um, but try and work towards them. And once I got here and I kind of looked back and started reflecting on things, I found it really interesting that here I am. Ah, sorry, camera died. And now that I look back and start reflecting on things, it's really cool that I've managed to sort of tick off all of those boxes. I mean, I'm my own boss. I'm able to work from anywhere. I mean, I just need my laptop and an internet connection and I can help people from all over the world, anywhere in the world, which is really cool. I've always wanted to be able to do that. So I moved from the big city of Vancouver. I moved out here to Vancouver Island to a small town called Parksville, British Columbia. And I've always wanted to be a teacher. And that's a big part of what I do now. I don't just give people some generic meal plan. I actually teach them how to create healthy meals, how to create healthy habits, how to live a healthy lifestyle and not just how, but also why. So teaching is a big part of my business and what I do. Another one was that I wanted to work with food. That was always something that I wanted to do and I didn't necessarily want to be a chef, but I knew I wanted to work with food. I've always loved food and here I am as a nutritionist. That's definitely one of the biggest things that I do is I work with food. I think about it all day and I research the healthiest things that we can eat all the time. So that's another one that got checked off. And the last one is that I wanted to be creative. And look at me here, I'm creating a video. I get to do what I want on social media. I get to create awesome recipes. So I managed to tick off all those boxes and it didn't happen all at once. It wasn't the next job that I got didn't tick off all those boxes, but eventually it happened and I didn't even really have to think about it. So write stuff down, guys. I challenge you right now to write things down that you want to happen in the future. It's a really powerful tool that we all have access to. It's free. It's easy to do. And the universe will provide if your intentions are true and you follow up with those things, it will happen. I'm not a big one for New Year's resolutions necessarily, but it's a good time to do it right now. And I know that I am going to be making some new lists and some new plans for the future that I want to come true. So be careful what you ask for because it might just come true. I hope you guys liked that video. I hope it explained a little bit about why I don't post more and what I do in the time where I'm not posting. My clients always come first, whether I'm following up with them, emailing them, checking up on them, or taking on new clients or creating new recipes or, you know, researching the absolute best thing for my clients to be eating or be doing. That's what I do with most of my time. So understand if I don't post to YouTube more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wanted to make this video for a little while now, but finally got around to it today. Uh, stay tuned for more. Comment down below, have you created some lists or some ideas that have come true just from writing them down? Let me know in the comments down below. YouTube apparently really likes engagement now, so any sort of comments help out. And I actually really like engaging with people and writing back and hearing stories from you guys, my viewers. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video. That also helps out a lot as well and subscribe if you guys haven't already to see more. Thank you so much. Peace and love guys. I will see you on the next one.